Hello, hello! Uh, so this is a video just to demonstrate something interesting about web performance. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. So I found this blog post recently that was talking about non-blocking asynchronous JSON parse using the Fetch API, where the idea is that instead of using regular JSON parse, you can do something like this, right, using the Fetch API, new response, pass in the string, dot JSON, and since it's returning you a promise, then in theory it should be doing the JSON parsing uh, in a non-blocking way because it could be on a background thread instead of the main thread. Um, but I got a good tip from Ben Kelly, who works on the, uh, who works on Firefox, that it might not actually run on the main thread and that this is the kind of thing that should be tested. So I did. So I put together this little test. Um, with this demo, you can do asynchronous JSON parse. And of course, it blocks. The animated GIF comes to a halt. But then if you do an asynchronous parse using this trick that's proposed in the blog post, let's see what happens. And yeah, it's not a whole lot better. In fact, it's slower and it still blocks. So that was Firefox. Let's see what happens in Chrome. Let's do the same trick. So, synchronous parse. Yep, that is blocked. And then let's do an asynchronous parse. Same exact thing. And I wanted to test this in Safari, but it turns out that Safari does not have fetch yet, unfortunately, and it's not in the technology preview or in WebKit either because it's behind a flag, but I did find that I could get an older build of WebKit, and inside of this one, it does actually have fetch. So let's see how this performs. I'll do synchronous. Okay, blocked. And asynchronous, fingers crossed. Nope. Not really any different. A little bit faster, though. A little bit less blocking. That's kind of interesting. Uh, and then just for completeness, let's go ahead and do this in Edge as well. So Edge, again, they uh, didn't have fetch in Edge 13, but uh, it is in Edge 14, so I'm on the Insider Preview. So let's try it here. I'm going to do a synchronous JSON parse. And yep, that's blocked. And then asynchronous. Oh boy. And, uh, <laughs> okay, and it crashes the browser. So that is definitely not something that you want to do. Um, so the point of this video is, I mean, this is a gigantic JSON file that I happen to be parsing. This is a JSON file that is 65 megabytes or something. Um, but the point of this video is there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? Just because something is asynchronous, just because there's a callback or a promise involved, doesn't mean that it's free. It doesn't mean that it necessarily doesn't block DOM rendering. So it's really worth taking that that advice to heart because this applies to more than just the fetch API. You know, when it comes to index DB, when it comes to Ajax, you can definitely block the DOM with those things. If you don't want to block the DOM, use a web worker. That's the only way. Okay. Thank you.